This is HSK1, lesson number 10, grammar point number 1. We're going to study the verb yo. In this case, we focus on the meaning there is, there are. Let's see an example. On the table, there is a mobile phone. In English, we would say, there is a mobile phone on the table. But please, pay attention here to the structure place plus yo plus object or person. Let's see examples on page number 74 in the book. The first one. 椅子下面有一只小狗. Under the chair, there is a little dog. Again, in English, we let's say, there is a little dog under the chair. But we have this structure that we have to respect in Chinese. Second example. 学校里有一个商店. In the school, there is a shop. Number three. 桌子上有一个电脑和一本书. On the table, there are a computer and a book. We continue now with the negative for this verb yo. Remember that we have to use may to make the negative for yo. First example. 椅子下面没有小狗. Under the chair, there is not a little dog. Or, there is not a little dog under the chair. Example number two. 学校里没有商店. In the school, there is not a shop. There's no shop in the school. 桌子上没有电脑和书. On the table, there is not a computer and a book. So remember, to make the negative, we use may yo. In this case, with the verb yo, we don't use pu to make the negative. We use may. Let's practice a little bit. First sentence. There are many people there. Nar yo hen There is a book on the chair. Yitze shan yo yi ben shu. There are some clothes in the shop. Shan dian li yo yi fu. There is no water in the fridge. There are three people in his house. Is there any person there? Nar Yozema. So, with these examples, we've been reviewing this grammar point, the verb yo. Remember, with the meaning of there is, there are.